friends good morning to all on behalf of uh, flame association we are happy to conduct this guest lecture and uh, i will go with the agenda i will invite uh, mr uh, am rakul to proceed the uh, welcome address sir pleasant good morning to everyone present in this virtual and real meet let this sad day bring splendid changes in our life I am Rakul Yam of Fine Line Mechanical Engineering, and I am here to welcome this real and virtual gathering to the guest lecture on the title of "Reimagining Your Employability Skills in the Digital and in the COVID-19 Situation," organized by the Flame Association of KIOT. I am honour-bound in welcoming the chief guest of the day, Mr. N. C. Balachandran, Senior Placement Consultant, Knowledge Institute of Technology, to the gathering. I welcome you, sir. Thank you. I feel privileged in welcoming. Our ever-supporting and energizing vice principal of Knowledge Institute of Technology, Dr. K. Vishagavel, to the gathering. I welcome you, sir. I am extremely happy to welcome pillar of our support, Professor M. Satinadan, Department in charge of Mechanical Engineering, to the gathering. I welcome you, sir. Finally, I am delighted in welcoming our dedicated faculties and students of Mechanical Engineering Department to this guest lecture. Thank you all for providing me a wonderful opportunity. So I uh, invite uh, Mr. Sakul to proceed with the chief guest introduction. Good morning, one and all present here. Now I would like to say a few words about our chief guest of the day, uh, Mr. N. C. Balachandran. He is a retired director of career development and placement of KSR Group of Institutions. He was also an in charge of designing modules for training students that the importance of career planning, soft skills, and campus to corporate. He has also designed module for faculty development program and trained about 200 faculty in KSR group of institutions. He not only developed module for training the students and faculty, he is also maintaining good contacts with the companies for inviting them to fill some good for organizing their campus interview, but also relationship on high frequency basis for a healthy institute industry interaction and successfully brought companies like TCS, Pro, HCL, IBTL, InfoView Technologies, Emphasis, American Mega Trends, Breaks India Limited, Tenaco Automotive Osu, Royal Enfield, Titan Industries, Axis Bank, Cognizant Technologies. This has enhanced the brand image of KSR Group of Institutions and the admission started powering after the successful record of placements. He not only served as director of career development and placement for KSR Group, he was manager of Madras Management Association. He was responsible for the event management and various development program and assisting association's executive director in organizing major conventions. He has also received a medal for ex-governor of Tamil Nadu for his outstanding performance as manager operation of uh, Madras Management Association. He also served as general manager of KBS Consultants, Chennai, in the year of 1995 to 1999. He was the deputy manager for marketing department in Tamil Nadu Petro Products Limited, Chennai, in the year 1987 to 1994. He started his career assistant manager in personal administration, EIO, Paris India Limited, and later he was branched off to work as the manager's direction as assistant manager, marketing administration from the year of 1977 to 1984. Apart from his job, he has also won trophies for accomplishments in games like table tennis, shuttle, badminton, cricket during his tenure with EID Pari India Limited and Tamil Nadu Petro Products Limited. And he has also received special awards from HR Sangam in January 2014. Now I would now I would like to invite our chief guest NC Balachandran sir to adjust the gathering. <coughs> <laughs> Sir, now I, I, I invite our uh, beloved Vice Principal, Dr. K. Visagavel, to uh, say a few words. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Venkat Raman. Uh, really, I thank NCB sir uh, for accepting our invitation. Even uh, now, today, uh, today is his birthday, right? I think he has to be busy with his family, right? In spite of his uh, personal busy schedule, he accepted our invitation. Now he is going to address our third year students. <clears throat> really, 
uh, we can say uh, without sensibly we cannot think of uh, mechanical engineering department core placements so we have to say like this so sir is very work colleague even uh, last two, three weeks continuously he is visiting all core companies along with our director placement <clears throat> because of his only our director placement is getting appointment in uh, leading uh, core multinational companies you know last week we placed uh, uh, i think uh, 15 students in sundaram fasteners around uh, 20 plus students in steel types in coming week tefe is going to come right tefe is going to recruit our students i think a minimum five students are going to recruit in another <coughs> another uh, five companies are uh, uh, that is uh, listed they are going to visit our campus online or offline going to recruit our finally students so even i put request to him even last week sir we need uh, 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 good placements in uh, for mechanical engineering also we want to place our students in uh, design related companies because so far we have only harita texo and esi another one cos global so in in this same line we are expecting more companies in chennai and uh, that is uh, bangalore there are more companies in aerospace industries so then uh, he accepted uh, then he made all kind of search and found another 10 companies last week he has given 10 companies link our uh, one of our faculty mr r vinod kumar is he selected to explore all 10 companies going to sit in nccb sir so very soon that means uh, i think for present failure it is not possible for present third year everything is possible i think uh, you are very lucky students we, we have to say uh, our team is going to work we have around 100 students in third year we hope based on uh, ncb sir input once you started to improve your uh, that is a so 21st century uh, skills this this is uh, expected by every company so when started to improve we have another one year 100% we assure we can place all 100 students in good companies in the salary of 3 plus that is a 3 plus lakhs uh, in core companies there is no doubt even we can go beyond that even mechanical engineering students are with japanese language or german language they are having more opportunity in uh, multinational companies they may get good salary only thing in from bncp sir a uh, point of view so we have to be very strong in our communication this is very important communication as well as basics basics is the fundamentals of subjects so both area if you strong 100% we can get it even in addition most of the core companies are expecting the expertise in modeling and simulation packages this is also very important even uh, every year they are uh, in companies they have a uh, new packages like hansa hypermes in addition with ansys so this year we plan to go for hansa or hypermes in our uh, there is institution already we have so we up to plm software we have all the packages definitely we can go for it the only request to the students we have to address this opportunity another one hour we are going to have lot of input from ncb sir you should not miss it we have to utilize this opportunity definitely please note down all these things after one or two months again we will call ncb sir for interactions that time we got to show we have our progress with this viewers i welcome ncb sir for this nice interactions once again we say happy birthday sir yeah, thank, thank you very much you. <laughs> we can start our your interactions thank you very much okay okay uh, uh, very good right morning to all of you very good morning to all of you to one and all of you and uh, i like to thank uh, dr vishakabel and uh, the pss sir and uh, mr rajendran and uh, satyana sir satyanathan mr suresh balaji who has been toiling very hard to place our core engineering students suresh has been, suresh balaji has doing a fantastic job in following all the companies and i think uh, he has been working very hard to see that every student of this batch at least getting placed in apprentice uh, scheme training and aim training uh, that is the only thing available for this year as uh, most of the companies have said uh, regular scheme interview is not possible and uh, when they are all waiting for the election to be over only after the election there will be a smooth sailing to a, uh, economy going in all aspects uh, everybody is saying we are going to see a look forward to a, a fantastic bounce back of economy in india most of the uh, uh, places across the globe also they have been uh, praising india like anything they have done fantastic work in eradicating the covid 19 a lot of uh, vac vaccine inoculations going on modi is doing a fantastic job i think everybody is praising india is going to be a big country and uh, a big country to reckon with on par with companies across the globe 
I mean, India is the only country we have done extremely very well in controlling the COVID-19. That's what uh, I keep reading all the papers every day. I think for the last two days, uh, we have been visiting a lot of companies and uh, we had met one company called Mel System and Services. Mr. Rajendra was very keen on meeting him because uh, whenever he met uh, Dr. Mr. Srinivasan, CEO of the company, he said, I'm learning a lot of things. Rajendra, is, it's, it's, even today, is very modest in telling, when I go out with you, I learn a lot of things by all the HR professionals. Because I, I always make it a point, I do want to talk to HR people over phone. I only fix up an appointment. But for the last 15 years, I mean, I like to meet the HR professional across the table. Then only I'll be able to build very good relationship. I'll be able to update what is going on around the job market. What is the kind of technology to leverage by core engineering students? I think this is the most important thing. And plus, you got to develop your personality, your levels of confidence, your smiling. I see whenever I interact with a lot of students uh, on Skype. By the last one year, I've been interacting with all the students on uh, Google Hangout Meet or Zoom platform. But most of them, they don't uh, unmute the window. I think you need to unmute the window and look at me. I need to understand you. I need to evaluate and assess your positive body language, whether you are very uh, dynamic and smiling and whether you're exchanging pleasantly with me. Hi, sir. How are you? Good morning to you. I, I've been seeing for the last one year, whenever a counselor student online, nobody has unmuted the window. I, my only request is at the beginning of my interaction, you can unmute the video uh, window. At the end of the thing, you must unmute the window so that I'll be able to interact with you. And nobody is asking any question. You got to get curious. You have to get arrows by the curiosity. You got to get excited in asking a lot of relevant questions. That is the most important thing of being a good personality. I think uh, the core engineering placement, I'm telling you, one of the most toughest assignments entrusted to me by Dr. PSS and Vishakabil. You know, for the last, uh, suddenly, two or three days ago, Rajendra was telephoning telephone me, I'd like to come to Chennai, shall you visit company? Because I need minimum four days to fix up an appointment. Very difficult to get them on the phone. Even they don't reply to my email. Because everybody is under pressure because of COVID-19 has upturned most of the way. We used to work in a normal way. So most of the heads of HR, they're having a lot of uh, tension, pressure at work. They have talked to the chief executive. They have to, uh, most of the employees are working, uh, IT company working online, virtual mode. I think whether they are uh, doing their work in a sincere manner, what should be a strategy for uh, uh, engaging them uh, in their engagement, uh, employee engagement uh, strategy? What should be your virtual employee engagement strategy? How, we, how should we evolve the strategy in enhancing the production levels of employee? These are the pressures of work they are having. They are unable to, most of the people, some of them even told me, Hi, Bala, you are 72 now. Why don't you retire? Why are you troubling me? That is the kind of uh, dialogue I'm getting from all the uh, HR. Today morning also I spoke to uh, Parushya because he had not been uh, taking the call for the last one week. Today he could, uh, telephoned me to wish me happy birthday. I asked him, why are you not responding to my call? I want to come to your factory. Voila, tremendous pressure. Sorry, don't mistake me. Tremendous. I could not answer your call. I could not respond to your call. I apologize. Only on Saturday I could speak because he is very close to me. He was earlier with Wheels India. Because when he was in Wheels India, I got a lot of candidates for other colleges also. So don't think that uh, I need to help all the able. Central Partners, Wheels India, Breaks India. They need a lot of students from other colleges also. So I help them. Because I help them, they are helping me. That is how I build relationship. I think placement job, don't think, is a very easy job. The kind of uh, hard work put in by Suresh Balaji and Rajendran, Dinesh, Rajesh, and Shanmuga Sundaram, and a lot of other people, they are all putting a lot, a lot of hard work. And uh, the Rajendran used to visit me with all the companies. And by the time he goes back to college, he will have a campus drive waiting for him. He has got an amazing energy level. I have never seen a most outstanding director placement. That is Rajendran. And Suresh Balaji is keeping a tab of all the core engineering company. He has been doing a wonderful job for the last three years. And I am really happy that uh, we have a good team because I would like to thank Dr. Vishakabil, Dr. P.S. Rajendran, Rajesh, and uh, Sarmugo Sundaram, and the HOD EC, HOD uh, Computer Design, HOD Civil Engineering, HOD Mechanical. They all are highly supportive to me. The, whenever I give a call to them, immediately they respond to the call. They extend a lot of good support to me. Without uh, teamwork, I cannot do any uh, big thing, achieve anything big thing in placement.
I because we need to be very strong in teamwork. We got to be. Uh, we we have to be understand what is going on in the job market. That's the most important thing. In line, that is why I'm going to talk to you. How all of you should reimagine your employability skill to survive in today's not only in COVID-19 situation but also the digital world. Recently, last week, uh, I had organized a guest lecture for S2 as a chair for a Gumbadi Pundi, where we have become a member also, and they are going to support us with all the interview next year. And this, this year, practically, there will be no interview from the site. The market is still bad. They were telling me, and uh, we have organized a guest lecture from Vice President of HR TCS, Mr. Chris Ganeshan. I know him very well from the KSR time. And he agreed to give a lecture. He gave a lecture on transforming HR in the digital world. I was surprised uh, after having heard his lecture. I compiled a report on his lecture sent to every faculty in KOT because they need to know what is going on in HR area also. Dr. Stephen, Dr. Nesik, Professor Nesikumar, and Professor Prakash. Uh, for all, everybody has sent the report because if you don't leverage technology in HR also, you cannot survive. That is a message he gave. Every domain of uh, uh, industry, whether the IT or mechanical, uh, service industry, everywhere, uh, the technology has to be leveraged. That is the message he gave in his presentation. With great difficulty, I could compile the technology report. And uh, I've been a member of NAPM and committee member, and I actually now retired. I used to compile all the reports of the guest lecture uh, organized by all the HR bodies. And I also got some lot of sponsorship for NAPM, 5 lakhs, ISD, 13 lakhs, Madras, Marimus, 9 lakhs sponsorship. So they all remembered me and helped me. Because I out of the go free of cart, I help everybody. That is the thing. That is how you must build relationship. I think you got to be known for your networking skill. That is what I'm going to say. I think before I open the PowerPoint, I'd like to tell you uh, what are the lessons learned by all of us by COVID-19 situation. I think when the, when the COVID-19 struck during the month of March, most of the CEOs and heads of HR, they were able to, they were unable to uh, <clears throat> crack and uh, uh, crack their brain, how to assemble all the employees in a virtual mode, how to sustain the business. And uh, they were all terribly, uh, completely, uh, they were not unable to plan how to execute their job to sustain the business. So they were able to respond to the crisis in a very nice manner. They were able to adapt themselves. They were able to motivate all the employees to move towards virtual a way of learning, work from home, work from anywhere. Likewise, here also, uh, virtual uh, mode of learning, blended uh, model of learning. I think you, we need to adapt yourself whenever such challenges strike us in the near future. Because we have uh, met all these challenges, we have been able to move out of the comfort zone. We have been able to hone a lot of good qualities, responding to crisis, hone your problem solving and troubleshooting skill, hone your critical thinking skill, one your out of the box thinking ability, and you have to reimagine your online work patterns. You have to reimagine your learning patterns online. You need to think in a different manner to quickly adapting yourself to understanding the challenging situation and see that you uh, engage yourself productively to sustain the business consistently. This is a man. This is what the experience most of the companies have had for the last uh, one and a half years. And IT companies have been doing phenomenally very well. My daughter is also working for a company called Charge B. She's a senior director. She's in charge of customer success. You used to be called earlier, I used to be in the marketing. I have understood what is customer relationship management. Today, that domain has been renamed as customer success. You have to retain, not only not on retain the customer, you need to keep motivating the customer to place more orders. You have to, you have to see that uh, how the business operation can be improved by the company. They are using a SaaS language, software, a service as a tool to improve the business operation of the all the companies across the globe. And she was telling me, my daughter was telling me, they are getting a lot of orders from online learning company. Online learning company mushrooming across USA, across Europe. So most of the online learning companies, they are placing order with Charge B to enable Charge B to improve the business operation using software as a service as a tool. So this is called customer success portfolio. I think you need to be strong in business analytics. You need to be strong in mathematics. You need to be strong in statistics. You got to do a course in Coursera.com, statistical techniques and business modeling. If somebody wants to be a mechanical engineer switching over to 
analytics domain, you got to do a certification in strategical techniques and business modeling at Coursera.com. With this brief about what are the lessons learned by all of us during the COVID-19, we have been successfully uh, absorbed the crisis situation. We have been able to acquire certain very good quality like resilient quality. What do you mean by resilient quality? You have to build a different kind of a mental frame. How quickly to get over the setbacks we have undergone. This is what I want to give a brief of how we have learned uh, uh, from the COVID-19 situation. What are the critical areas we have learned? And we have learned how to uh, how quickly to adapt ourselves to move on to virtual mode of learning, how to reimagine work pattern, how to come out with a strategy on virtual employee engagement strategy, virtual performance management strategy. I think the, the, uh, from the normal uh, era, we have moved towards the new normal. Now, shortly, we'll come back to normal phase of our life. With this brief, let me open this uh, PowerPoint and start my uh, presentation on reimagining your employable skill. You're able to see? Hello? You're able to see? <laughs> okay, help you. It's okay now? Okay. okay. You're able to see? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the topic is going to be employable skill in the post COVID world. You have to reimagine your employability skill, not only to survive the COVID 19 situation, but also to uh, meet the expectation of digital world. That's the important thing because everything has become digitized. Unless you are very good in uh, equipping yourself with digital skill, you cannot survive. Uh, the definition of employable skill, the very most important thing. Because I worked in uh, domains like uh, personal administration. I worked in domains like uh, training and development. I worked in domain things like uh, industry relation. I was interacting with union when I was uh, working with the EAD Paris Hyderabad. I am a quite a youngest uh, employee, newly married. After having got myself confirmed as a store manager, after having been a management trainee for two years, Having worked in places like New Delhi, Vizak, Kakinada, and Hyderabad. So when I came back to Hyderabad, I was confirmed as the manager of personal administration. My God, the union was very strong. Because why I'm uh, give you sharing these experiences, you need to be known for special skills in negotiating with. Sir, I'm, I'm online giving a lecture, sir. Sorry. Okay. Because I, I was asked to interact with a very strong union. They never used to come on time. Our office timing is 9.30 to 5 o'clock. People used to come very late when I joined there, 9.45, 9.50. I used to be very friendly with them. At the same time, I need to enforce discipline in their minds. Today, bio artness has come. No problem at all. In those days, there was no technology like this. And uh, I used to uh, motivate them. But somebody used to, they used to argue with me, how can you vote Daba Mart? I said, I am doing my duty. I need to enforce discipline. I am working for the management. If you are an employee of the company, you got to come here by 9.30. If you come at uh, four days late, I have to apply half a day leave for you. I think I like to make myself very clear to you. I am going to be very strict. I need to enforce discipline in your mind. You got to be here by 9.30. So like that, then I started playing with them table tennis and other uh, cricket, they became very friendly with me. Then I was able to uh, manage them. And they all became very friendly with me. And uh, my manager was very happy about that. So employable skills are defined as skill required not only to gain employment, but you need to equip certain skill to enable you to progress within the organization to achieve your potential, a different kind of potential, and how to contribute successfully to the enterprise strategic direction. Okay, you need to interact with, uh, you need to be stronger in interpersonal relationship. There are a lot of uh, staff member who is very belligerent, 
who is very intimidative. You need your special skill in motivating him to understand the company's uh, philosophy and disciplinary policies. You need to make them understand and report to office punctually by 9.30. So you need to have certain skill to manage people, not only manage soft people, but also intimidating colleagues and very belligerent colleagues. They used to fight with you. You need to control them. You need to be diplomatic with them. You've got to be extremely diplomatic. Make them understand what is the company philosophy is all about. Because we need to sustain the business. We need to sustain the We need to achieve profit. Unless you need to enforce discipline in the minds of the people to come to office punctually, you cannot uh, do business. You cannot sustain business. Once again, I'll read out. Employable skills are defined as skill required not only to get employment, but also to progress within an enterprise so as to achieve one's potential and contribute successfully to the enterprise strategy direction. To, to enable you to understand the digital world, to enable you to understand what is the crisis situation we are in today. Uh, most of the HR professors have told me, most, all the students should be a, a different kind of a personality. They have to develop personality. And uh, I don't want any of the student to be very timid. They got to be highly confident. And uh, they got to be known for their uh, infectious enthusiasm. They need to be found very interesting in conversation and a variety of subject. I think they need to be highly articulate to leverage their communication skill well in line with the corporate expectation. And uh, you got to be highly confident. You need to know how to get along well with others with ease. As a team member, you need to know how to get along well with others with ease. The most important quality of team working skill. You got to be uh, able to, you'll be, you should be able to get along well with others with ease without any problem. They need to understand is very easy to get along with is a, a member of high potential in particular area of uh, domain functioning. And he has been yeah, of immense value to all of us. That is the kind of uh, message a team leader should talk about a team member. And, uh, and you need to speak in a very slow and steady manner. You've got to be understandable. You cannot go at a breakneck speed while talking to people. When you are uh, presenting a topic in a presentation, in a department uh, presentation, you need to be known for your communication skill and presentation skill. And you've got to be smiling. Most of the time, I have seen a lot of students they remain as Umana Munji. Umana Munji, you've got to be smiling and uh, you have to get, send the message to everybody. He is the year of the guy whom I can get along well with others with ease. Be known for infectious enthusiasm and uh, be an interesting conversational hypnotist. And cultivate your reading habits at least 30 minutes to be better. At least 30 minutes a day. Because Today, everybody expects you to read Times of India and into paper. You've got to read Times of India into paper every day. In into paper, letters to the electric column. Yesterday also, I was going through a lot of uh, interesting letters and uh, letters to the electric column. Amazing. The writing skills of uh, uh, people who are sending letters to the electric into amazing. By reading those letters to the electric column, I was able to improve my communication skill. Mind you, I didn't study the English medium like you. Most of you would have studied the English medium. I studied in Tamil medium till my SSLC in the year 1965. When I went to pre-university, I got to study everything in English. I had a tough time. So I think you need to read a lot of papers every day to... Uh, <laughs> pardon me? Hello? Hello? You can carry on, sir. You can carry on, sir. Nothing, sir. I can continue, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can continue, sir. Oh, okay, okay. So that, that is what I'm saying. Tamil is a path of Tanamik and Ariarkano. Tanamik, Unga, Unga, and a path, Yedikan, Unga, window, unmute person. I need to look at you. What is the kind of personality you are? Whether you are a smiling personality, whether I could make out a lot of confidence in you, and the Tanamik and Ariarkano, Siriputam and Ariarkano, Yellow Dim, Yavar. Sagatimaga Paragum with them, Angulatil Teremiaga Pesum with them is a lie irida personality. And you got to be good in networking skill. You should have participated in inter college debate, online debate. You should have played a lot of sports in the college. Extracurricular activity, co curricular activity, on the regime, la, Katayo, employer, papa. 
when I'm working in KSR, a lot of uh, HR, IT companies, they told me, what is this, Mr. Balachandran? Most of your students, they have not participated in inter-college debate. They have not uh, played any sport during the college time. What is this? Encourage them to play a lot of uh, games like basketball, volleyball, uh, tennis court, tennis, cricket, shuttle. I think you need to play uh, certain games and you need it. Because, because of my uh, games only, I got a job in State Bank of Mysore. First job was State Bank of Mysore. Like a college, I spent about three years there. I had a golden era, having improved everyone's uh, uh, cricketing ability. And I, I used to assemble them at MUC net practice. People who have not been able to hold bat correctly, they have become uh, very good batsmen and bowlers, spinners. And I found the team, we play a lot of inter, inter bank matches. I became very popular. Then I, I got a job in EAD Parry. In EAD Parry cricket team also, I was the fast bowler. And I used to play table tennis. There are a lot of very good players, much better than me in EAD Parry. Most of them are Anglo Indian. Anglo Indians are very good in table tennis. I think you got to be a sportsman. Because I've seen a lot of girls have taken to shuttlecock in Salem. In Salem itself, I could see uh, there are about six or seven indoor shuttle stadium. You must go out and play, not only to uh, acquire how to play shuttlecock, but also to get into networking. By getting into networking, once you play a very good game of uh, shuttlecock, you will get noticed by some employer in Salem Mitchell. He will be able to give a job to you. I think this is what I am saying. By, because I was a member of Indra Nagar Sports Club in Chennai. I learned tennis at the age of 50. I uh, the tournament of tennis doubles. I went up to finals and we lost. Everybody appreciated my passion. And uh, I used to practice with marker. Sometime when I was working in Madras Management Association, my army major, uh, major he was a boss, boss was from army, he's a major of uh, army, Indian army. And uh, I learned a lot from him. He's a, he's a communicator par excellence. I used to be a highly confident person. I learned how to remain confident in executing risk-oriented jobs. In marketing, he asked me to organize the program on ISO 9000, 14000, that the surveillance uh, certificate course. He said the fees is going to be 18,000. I said 18,000, nobody will give. Then he started arguing with me. Don't worry. I'll by my strategy thinking, I'll give you an idea. St shoot out a circular to all the CEOs of the company. What is the objective of the module? What is the course content? And uh, for whom it is conceived? What are the key takeaways? And I drafted it, gave it to my boss. He gave finishing touches, sent to all the CEOs. We didn't print a brochure. We got about 38 uh, registration at 18,000 participation fee. My boss was immensely pleased with my strategic thinking. Why I'm saying is, you got to be known your strategic thinking. You 18,000 rupees, sorry, I cannot market. I didn't say that. I just told him, I'll give you another way of marketing, which will definitely clinch. It got clinched. Then we sent all the circular to all the CEOs. They're very happy about Madras Management Association, this program on uh, is the surveillance of uh, IUSA inspection, NCR, non conformity report, all these areas. I think you have to satisfy the uh, some of the parameters of uh, ISO 9000, 14000, for which we invite the inspector to do the ISO audit. That course, 18,000 we kept, 38 uh, participants from various companies participated. My boss was immensely pleased. I never knew you were a marketing guy. Because you didn't know, because I, uh, when I joined the MMA, I was only operation. Earlier, I've been in the marketing and sales and uh, marketing administration. By experience, I was able to think in a different manner, out of the box thinking ability. This is what is called critical thinking, out of the box thinking ability. Because you need to know, you need to acquire all these areas. I'm going to talk about what are the qualities of being a good uh, personality. <clears throat> I told you earlier, you, you need to read Hindu Times of India daily. Any business journal like Business Today is very must for all the core engineering students. Business Today, Business World. You have to buy. You have to buy or you have to buy. study in library. Because COVID-19 situation, don't worry. Wear a mask. Strictly follow your social distance, use sanitizer, go to library, read all this magazine. Because Business World gives a complete profile of each company across India. Across India. And uh, journals like PC Quest, some of you might be interested in doing uh, technology like IoT and uh, IoT, then uh, one more dashboard, mechanical. They have to do a 
learn a certificate course on dashboard and iot plus digital marketing if you want to keep your, if you want to keep yourself abreast of what is going on in emerging technology you got to read journals like pc quest data quest to figure out and stack your interview in a successful manner practice your self introduction in a slow and steady manner with as much clarity because i keep telling all the students of kot whenever they come out to counseling i think you got to nige ogla patti arivu padumbodhu nirithi nidhanamaga pesa kattukanum nirithi nidhanama pesna da ellarku pidikum because i have understood my folly when i was your age i used to be going at a breakneck speed my boss used to correct me you are very good only thing is you need to be slow and steady to make others understand you then i corrected myself and and became a communicator par excellence so at the time of self introduction you got to be slow and steady you got to keep a smiling face you got to send a message to the interviewer you are the most enthusiastic person with a great sense of humor and you have to be uh, you have to bring out the clarity and the ucharipu you have to bring out, by being very slow and steady you will be able to bring out the clarity to enable the interviewer to understand you you know or bias like actually ellaro interview paathona all of you become nervous don't become nervous be normal be informal before you go to the final interview uh, you will be having a lot of dry throats because your term will be by the end of the evening or at the end of the night so you need to keep uh, uh, drinking some fresh lime juice or a coffee or tea so that you will be comfortable when you move inside the cabin for your final interview and so you need to practice your self introduction every day when you go back to your house after the online classes get over or the physical interaction gets over after having had a uh, walk or uh, skipping exercise uh, have a bath and the stand before a mirror go on practicing how to introduce all about you i used to practice when i was your age i used to practice stand before a mirror i corrected myself see by like a playing a game of tennis playing a game of shuttle cricket we did lot we do lot of practice no but i used to do, be a fast bowler to bowl effectively on the sunday league tamil nadu league cricket team i used to practice running along the beach from wednesday to saturday so that i'll be able to have a rhythmic run up my point of delivery will be going towards offside only it will not go as straight to the left side so practice makes every one of you to be epitome of perfection so you got to practice then uh, then uh, practice your self introduction then as possible focusing simultaneously on your voice modulation this will enable you to perform your interview very well because i need to bring out my uh, different kind of a voice modulation you got to be known for your you need not be but try to focus on bringing out a stylish delivery a voice modulation you would have heard amitabh bachchan talking in english you would have heard sanil gavaskar reading in english you would have heard uh, mr uh, lashman lashman cricketer pvs lashman speech is very good especially sanjay manjarekar i don't know how many of you have heard sanjay manjarekar commentary superb english i used to be in awe of sanjay manjarekar superb english you need to observe people to improve upon your the, the way he sums up the cricket match sanjay manjarekar is phenomenal asha bogle is i am amdavad mba so he is too good extraordinary but he is he is bit fast but if you listen to uh, sunil gavaskar if you listen to sanjay manjarekar you will get to know how to communicate much better if you listen to amitabh bachchan conducting a uh, kaun banega crorepati how he conducts himself in a great etiquette and manners how he motivates the participant how he interact with the audience in a smiling manner he is being a fantastic uh, uh, actor a fantastic communicator and uh, he has studied everything nobody thought amitabh bachchan would conduct uh, kaun banega crorepati in a highly successful manner i think everywhere i have seen i used to interact with some of the hindi actors whenever i uh, bump into them at the airport when i working for tamil nadu petrol product i used to travel all over india by flight only i met lot of uh, hindi actors dilip kumar i used to interact with nagarjuna i used to interact with uh, uh, recently i met uh, ranveer singh my goodness phenomenal speaker communicator par excellence most of the hindi actors they all studied they had studied up to mba they have taken up acting and uh, uh, salman khan brother arbus khan 
superb speaker, bang on target. You always used to wear catchy words. You need to be bang on target. If you want to come up very well in life, you've got to be bang on target by planning effectively. Next, next slide, I'll go. When you introduce all about yourself at the time of interview, you need to start giving a brief of your family background, the CGPA scored by you in your academic stream, then brief on your positive personality attribute. I'd like to inform you what should be your personality attribute to enable to meet the digital corporate expectation. See, whenever uh, you finish your online test, group discussion, technical test, you have been highly successful, you are getting shortlisted for a HR interaction. At the time, you need to know how to introduce yourself in a different manner. The moment employer asks you, come on, Mr. So-and-so, tell me all about yourself. That is going to be the golden opportunity. You need to introduce yourself like this. Uh, my name is Swami I've just finished my B Mechanical Engineering from Knowledge Institute of Technology. I got about uh, 7.5 CGPA or 8 CGPA or 7 CGPA. And my father is a businessman or uh, he's employed in a so and so company or he's a college professor, a teacher. My mom is a homemaker or employed in a college as a professor, a teacher in school. I have so many brothers and sisters. What do they do? You need to tell them what your sisters and brothers they do. They might be working in a good IT company. They may work in a core engineering. They'll be, they'll be very eager to know. So yeah, after finishing a family background, you need to highlight your personality traits. Yes, sir, I finished my giving you my family background. Now I like to highlight my some of my positive personality traits. I'm a very self-confident person, reasonably good in communication and presentation skill, very strong and persuasive and negotiating capability, man or a boy or a girl of high commitment to organizational goals and objective. I can demonstrate my leadership quality. I'm able to get along well with others with ease. I'm very good in building relationship with everyone I interact with and stronger in analytical thinking capabilities. I'm reasonably found good in problem solving and troubleshooting skill. I'm known for my agile mindset and disruptive caliber. I'm known for my good attitude for continuous learning. I'm known for my critical thinking and out of the box thinking ability. I, I'm known for my creative thinking and known for my innovative mindset. Then I'm known for my uh, flexibility. I'm very adaptable, come out flexible to work in any kind of process situation. I'm also known for my cognitive thinking ability. With all this attribute at the back of me, you would find me a value addition to kickstart my career in a company like this. If you have any technical query to be put to me, well in line with mechanical engineering, well in line with my electrical electronic engineering, well in line with civil engineering, I'm now ready to answer his queries. Well in line with my electronic communication engineering, I'm now, now I'm ready to answer your queries. You have to finish like this. If you speak like this, employee will be very much impressed. He'll be able to think the student is talking very well. He's talking in a slow and steady manner. He has highlighted his uh, personality in a very beautiful manner. He's slow and steady, very understandable. You've already created an impression of the employee's mind, the way you introduce all about yourself. Then you would say, I can look forward to a, uh, a meaningful interaction, a very interesting interaction with such students. Uh, once you start asking the technical queries, I'll be talking about at the end of my presentation, what are the probable queries they might ask in mechanical engineering. The thing, when I told you about uh, one of the quality, I'm able to get along well with others with these. And uh, I was also talking about uh, how to build very good relationship with everyone in track with. You need to cultivate the habit of wishing Dr. Vishakabil on his birthday and wedding anniversary. You need to cultivate the habit of wishing Satya Nadal on his birthday and wedding anniversary. You need to cultivate the habit of wishing Mr. Suresh Bhagavad on his birthday and wedding anniversary. You need to cultivate the habit of wishing Mr. Vinod on his uh, birthday, Nandakumar on their birthday and wedding anniversary. Nandakumar has become, I think he has a doctorate. How many of you have congratulated Nandakumar when he became a doctorate? You need to go out of the way to congratulate, uh, congratulations, sir, on your milestone achievement. We all came to know you have become a doctorate, sir. Go and congratulate. That is how you need to build a relationship. When I met Nandakumar at college last time when I came to NAC accreditation, I Congratulated, Nandukumar, it's a milestone achievement by you. I think you need to uh, compliment people. You need to 
wish them on the birthday wedding anniversary when i was the manager of operation madras management association my army major boss he was very particular to remembering every staff birthday the moment any staff member birthday can i need to buy a unique gift not ordinary gift i need to buy a creative gift if i buy a ordinary gift my major army major will get angry with me so you train me to buy a unique creative gift not less than 350 rupees today you can get lot of uh, bluetooth speaker uh, bluetooth earphone power bank and the amazon uh, music system everything is available at the throw away rate 650 or 750 or 550 i think you, you have to surprise the uh, birthday gentleman birthday lady wedding anniversary uh, couple you need to spring a surprise on them this is how you should build relationship when i was working in madras management association in 2003 remember on telugu boy and telugu girl they spoke very well to me pati bhi computer science in those days getting a internship herculean task they came to me i interacted with them i asked lot of interview questions to them in computer science then i found them to be very communicative and above average immediately i recommended them to scl very close to madras management association office at nelson marikam road now it got shifted to mount road now at the time my friend karthik was uh, heading the hr hey bala have you interacted with them how do you find them because he knows me very well i found them to be very good above average okay then send them to me they did project for three years for three months they for three months they did project internship they have accredited themselves very well a well in line with the expectation of hr and they have been not only they got a testimonial they got a stipend of 5000 rupees per month for three months they got 14000 then these two people were so happy they came to my house on a sunday they found out my birthday my birthday is march 6 today is my birthday they came to my house and uh, they came with their parents and the boy with the ball were belonging to nellur and kavali in andhra pradesh andur they and they when they came to my house i spoke to them and chased me andur kulasa gondara ela unnaru me record unnaru nellur i spoke to them in telugu they are so happy sir you know telugu yes i worked in kakinada for 3 years i learned telugu by seeing 200 telugu movies i had to learn telugu not that i was interested in seeing telugu movie no other go i had to survive in kakinada i need to sell lot of fertilizer npk 14 by 14 gromo 35 gromo 28 28 stick urea in one occasion i sold 10000 ton of stick urea during the sankranti period after pongal when i joined tpl company yes mutia the chairman you asked me to meet him at his cabin at quick uh, center gindi yes i remember you mr balachandran you were instrumental in selling 10000 ton of urea it is pleasure to Uh, make you join a tpl company reporting to onmatha satish kumar he was he remembered my selling 10000 ton of urea during my tenure with ari pari at kakinada because of that i got the job in tpl see how look at the ceo of an md the company how they remember that name, my name they remember he remembered me a name and gave me a job it was a goal of the golden era of my career life i traveled all over india i remembered every customer's birthday wedding anniversary brought all the customer closer to me i was able to get more orders yes madam i'll just call you i'm in a webinar hey, thank you sir thank you so much so i, I traveled all over india i got lot of orders for a product called linear alkyl benzene one of the basic raw metal input for detergent powder and cake they have trained me very well in technical area quality parameters and i also had the opportunity interacting with uh, unilever a chindwara factory near nagpur i used to interact with uh, nirma chemical works ahmedabad i knew karsan bhai patel the owner of nirma came i used to meet him one day he is very strategic in his thinking mr balachandran we have been sending my cargo by road why don't you think of selling the cargo by ship if you send the cargo by ship my cost of distribution will come down my company is all the cost of uh, uh, bringing the cargo by road is costlier as compared to carrying the cargo by ship is cheaper so immediately we all sat together i told my satish kumar who moved to hankel india md we all had a brainstorming discussion how to dispatch the cargo through ship we have we had another gentleman called subramani my colleague he used to interact with fixed shipping we have got a chemical in a ship we have sent 1000 ton of lab after uh, taking care of utmost precaution how to clean the ship we have engaged the jb border surveyor 
and uh, by picking operation we have cleaned the entire ship loaded the cargo sent to kandla port after two days kasman bhai is calling giving me a call balachandran ji humko bahut khush hua uh, maal acha hai quality acha hai humko bahut khush hua 1000 ton load kiya um, thank you so much my uh, uh, expenditure has come down thanks to your team headed by satish kumar tum aa jao ab aa jao kal aapke liye paisa de raha hu he told me come tomorrow i'll give you a check he gave me a 100 crore check i have never seen a 100 crore in the journey of my life what i'm trying to say is but the customer is highly knowledgeable he is telling me send the cargo by ship instead of by road by sending the cargo by road it becomes costlier proposition to the customer he is suggesting can you explore the possibility cargo by ship we all brainstorm together we planned many way systematically effectively without any problem and mistake we sent the cargo to kandla port the customer is very happy this is what we call customer relationship management so this is how you must build relationship because building relations is very very important the kind of uh, who would say the role model in building in, the, in our campuses first is sinivasan Vishakavel is an amazing gentleman. He builds very good relationship. He keeps motivating me. He keeps exhorting me. He builds very good relationship with me. PSS, fantastic networking professional. Rajendra, my goodness. The moment he brings, the moment, the way he brings all the IT companies, he is phenomenal. He has built very good relationship with all the IT company. I think you must learn from Rajesh. He was the computer science professor. You must learn from Shanmugam Sundaram. You must learn from Suresh Balaji how he speaks to all the companies in organizing interview for college students. You must learn from Dinesh. He always goes along with the students wherever interview. Recently, we had an interview with Sundaram Partners three days ago. Dinesh accompanied Mr. Mr. Suresh Balaji accompanied all the students to steel strips. That is how you need to build relationship. Because whenever students go 50 or 40 members, one purpose should accompany the student to build relationship with the company. So that uh, the other day when Dinesh went to Sundaram Fastness Limited, Anand Edwin, deputy manager, he telephoned me, "Hey, Balachandran sir, thank you so much. All the students have joined together. You have responded immediately. Thank you so much. We have built very good relationship with Anand Edwin, deputy manager HR at Sundaram Fastness Limited. He says." None of the other colleges have responded immediately. Only KOT responded immediately. He paid compliment to me. This is how you must respond to the company request immediately in sending the student for interview. If we delay even a two day, company will get annoyed with us. So that Edwin for telephone me. Your your college is amazing. You responded quickly to my request. You sent the student the college bus. Mr. Dinesh is here. Amazing, Mr. Bal. Thank you so much. He thanked me profusely. This is how you must quickly respond to employers' requests in sending the students for interview in no time. Uh, I think I've given you all the. I'm just reading it. I'm a self-confident person, reasonably good in communication and presentation skill, very strong and persuasive and negotiating capability, man or woman of high commitment. Of organization's goals and objective, able to get along well with others with ease. I'm very good in building relationship with everyone I interact with. I can display my leadership qualities, capabilities. Known for my good team working skill, having understood the dynamics of team functioning. I'm stronger in my analytical thinking ability. I'm found reasonably good in problem solving and troubleshooting skill. I'm known for my agile mindset and disciplined caliber. The morning when I spoke to Monday, Pan, Perusia. We were talking about Lucas TVS. Lucas TVS. There are going to lot of disruption going to happen in Lucas TVS. They are going to manufacture a lot of spare parts for electrical vehicle manufacturing in another three months from now. So you need to be known for agile mindset. You need to be very fast in executing a job in no time. You need to be known for your speed of execution of job. You need to known for your speed of thought, speed of execution. That is agile mindset. Disruptive caliber. You need to understand what are the disruption happening around you. In emerging technology, everything got disrupted. COVID-19 has disrupted everything. COVID-19 has disrupted the normal way of functioning. We moved towards the new normal phase. So you got to be known for your disruptive mindset. 
how to understand the description how to respond to the description how to adapt quickly to the description how to reimagine a thinking to enable me to work in a smooth manner so you got to be known for your descriptive caliber i'm stronger in my critical thinking and known for my out of the box thinking ability i'm known for my good attitude for continuous learning i am reasonably good in my creative thinking and known for my innovative mindset you got to be a dreamer you got to be a ideator you got to be a innovator you got to be a dreamer you got to be a ideator you got to be a innovator today you'll be talking about lot of innovation under a field of study called prescriptive analytics you have to come up with a lot of ideas how to innovate our uh, product how to come out with a new innovative product how to expand the business growth under prescriptive analytics you will be uh, you will be studying a lot of what how to come out with a lot of innovative ideas to sustain the business further to expand the business further so i think you got to be known for your creative thinking and known for your innovative mindset lastly i am very flexible adaptable to work in any kind of present situation you need to practice your self introduction and high frequency business striving to acquit yourself critically very well in giving a neat presentation yourself to impress the employer you need to be known for your articulation ability in leveraging the communication ability this is what tcs people they kept on telling me during my tenure with uh, ksr group i want all the students to be known for their articulation ability in leveraging the communication skill i would advise all of you to buy a book titled how to improve your vocabulary in 30 days time by norman weiss this is the must i think uh, when you go abroad for i studies you may be having a lot of uh, overseas education goal to be achieved if you study this book thoroughly you will be able to figure out and crack tofl exam test of english as foreign language when i was doing my ma in public administration in the 1971 i tried to go abroad to do mba at the time my professor asked me to read this book this book will be of great immense use to you to figure out and crack tofl tofl exam this will help you not only to hone your communication skill but also your writing skill this is also a sort of dictionary to enable you to figure out and crack tofl exam in case you are planning to go abroad later for your overseas education you need to do gre and tofl to get qualified to go abroad for your higher studies i have been telling in all my counseling session mechanical electrical you can go abroad anywhere across europe and continent by visiting www.europestudiescenter.com I have met so far four students having gone to uh, European continent from KSR. One girl student, Soundarya Palni Sami, she worked in DCA for two years. She learned German language. Then she went to uh, EuropeStudyCenter.com. She got admitted one of the colleges in Europe continent. She did MS in Cognitive Technical Thinking and Machine Learning. Yeah, MS in Cognitive Thinking and Machine Learning. at one of the places the european continent she got the degree she is now working in a domain called development operation devops she is getting a salary of 12000 euro dollars today imagine a girl from tirchengode doing fantastically very well in germany why not you and another gentleman sukant kumar b e and i he did work with uh, cognitive technology and infosys after working for 7 years I told him to go abroad to study. He is now doing ME in automation, robotic process automation. He is studying at uh, Milano University in Italy. He is going to finish it. And I, I, I kept in touch with during the uh, COVID-19 wealth spread, wealth spread at the time. And nothing to worry, sir. We have been uh, moved to a safe place. We are doing, uh, we are doing a lot of online classes. Nothing to worry. He is going to finish his course. He is going to come back to India. His uh, family friend, one lady, who is a professor of uh, Bharat Engineering College, she went abroad. She did a M.E. in architecture. She said, "A fantastic! I learnt a lot. I'm very happy now. She is very confident now. She will be get a job. She will be able to get. She wants to do P.H.C. now. She is trying for a P.H.C. there itself. And, and another gentleman, Ramki, uh, is a native of Salem. He studied B.Tech I.T. at uh, K.S.R. Very average student. He got only 55 percent marks. After having finished my interview with T.C.S. Wipro at K.S.R. in the year 2012." He comes running to my cabin, sir. I didn't get placed. Why not? I didn't get 60 percent, sir. Only 45 percent. I think you got to get me a job, sir. Now, Golda Nambir, sir. 
I said, okay, don't worry, let me try. I cannot assure you, let me try. Then I went back to Chennai. I went to Tirutheri 10 times. I identified the Sintel company. Now it is called Auto Sintel. I got him a job there. I hope to, to make Sintel come to KSR, I had a tough job. Where is Tirchangodu? Will there be a lot of quality in your student? I, I have to convince you are not even come to our college. What is the kind of uh, numbers you are looking at to select? He said minimum 40. Yes, definitely we have got 60 students of high quality. I told them, they came to my college, they selected 30 students, one of them is Ramki. Today Ramki, after having worked in Chennai for three years, he had, he had been sent to California. Today he is working in California, getting a salary of 10,000 US dollars per month. When average student like Ramki, a native of Salem, who is very poor in English communication, when he is able to switch over to California, he was, today he is a communicator par excellence. And he is doing a domain backend software development, user interface software, UI, uh, UI, uh, UI, uh, UX design, user interface software, UX design, Angular JavaScript. He is an expertise. He offers expertise to all these uh, uh, customers how to improve their operation, business operation, with the help of user interface software, UX design, Angular JavaScript. When an average student of uh, Ramki hailing from Chelem can get $10,000 at California, USA today, why not you? Why not you? Another gentleman, one Mr. Uh, Sudarshan, he is a classmate of my daughter. He studied, my daughter studied civil, he studied civil engineering. And uh, he studied at uh, Melmurthur College at Dindivanam. And he was telling me, uncle, I got, uh, I want to go USA, like, I want to be like your daughter. Uncle, one thing, I've got four areas, I've cleared the areas, will I be able to get a job, definitely get admission in Texas. Why not? Definitely you'll be able to get admission because I've observed him is a good communicator and towering personality, six footer. You will definitely get visa, I'm telling you. He got through the GR exam. He got through the TOEFL exam. He went for VSA. Before he went for, he came to my house. Uncle, I knew your blessing. Say God blessing, I told him. I wished him all the best. He got the visa. He finished his MS in civil engineering at Texas. Today he's working in New Jersey. He's getting a salary of $13,000 per month. Why not you? Sudarshan was also a very average student. He had arrears, but he spoke very well. His communication is fantastic. He was able to win over the visa interview team. And with all the arrears uh, uh, backlog, he had cleared. They didn't ask him because he spoke very well. He communicated very well. They were very happy about it. They got the admission. Today, he also got married. He had a love marriage with a North Indian girl. She's an, she did an MBA at USA at New Jersey. And she's now working with an HR department. Both of them took a third, they are earning about $25,000 $25, per month. Now he has been blessed with the daughter. Now he has yeah, he just acquired a two-bedroom flat. Why not you? Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. You must have the burning desire. A lot of people used to say, all the HR people, Bali Chandran is not only having a fire in his belly, he is also having a furnace in his belly. You need to be known for your fire belly, fire in your belly. You need to be known for your furnace in your belly. I think you've got to be known for your burning desire. And the Danush shoulder Mary, Colaveri, Colaveri, Colaveri D. And the Colaveri Irindada, Varkil Munirmadiyam. Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. I have observed it in my career journey so far. Till my 35th year, my career was a struggle. Then 35th year, a lot of people have criticized me. A lot of people were sarcastic about me. Why are you not uh, focusing on your uh, job growth? Why are you not, uh, why are you not become a manager yet? In my family circle, my father, everybody scolded me, criticized me. Then I had a burning desire, I came back with the bank. Though director post was got as way of the packet of my career, better late than never. That's what the gods keep telling me. Whenever I, because I'm a fitness freak, every day, today morning, I ran on my treadmill for the last two days. I've been busy with Rajendran, visiting all the companies. I didn't have time to go to the gym to run on my treadmill. Today morning, first thing I got up at 5.30 a.m., 6 o'clock, I hit the gym. For about 45 minutes, I did a lot of running on the treadmill. My God keep talking to me. I am able to visualize my God. I said, now today, on my birthday, I become 72. How long am I going to live? My God is supposed to be telling me when I'm meditating, with my God, you are telling me you are going to live for some more time. There are a lot of students to be trained and placed by you. So till then, you are going to be alive. I see that you are going to be alive for some more years so that uh, some of the students of your college will get placed and get trained by you. That's the kind of message I'm getting 
when i am running on my treadmill i do lot of transcendental meditation i appear to be visualizing my god god appears to me telling all this thing i think you need to spend a quiet hour every day you need to spend a quiet hour 20 minutes quiet hour not to be disturbed by external environment not to be disturbed by internal environment go to a very good park lush green park or on the terrace of your house nobody should be there sit calmly do lot of meditation spend a quiet hour of 20 minutes you will be able to visualize your career goal how to achieve that career goal in a systematic manner you need to spend a quiet hour a lot of people are students are telling me after having heard me counseling them sir your counseling uh, cleared all my doubts sir no i have got a lot of clarity in me thank you very much sir because you need a mentor there are a lot of mentor counselor coach available in the college itself your uh, professors sanbhaga santram suresh balaji rajesh mr kumar uh, hod vishakavel uh, is a very good counselor dr vishakavel you can straight away go away, go go into his cabin and tell him sir i'd like to come and meet you vishakavel will counsel you he is a fantastic counselor he is a fantastic mentor and coach i think you need to get into networking and uh, see that uh, you have a mentor in the campus itself you can also come on to my skype i'll give you my skype my nc dot bala any time you can come on to my skype if you have any doubts that to be clarified by me i am here to help you now i am a, i am a very close friend of all the students i don't criticize i am not sarcastic about you you are all quite uh, young you are all quite innocent so now i will only talk to them in a different manner i keep motivating you exhorting you to be well of tomorrow and this is the website i told you i think uh, uh, the counselors to advise you to choose the particular course you can contact them coim to they have a beautiful office they can come on to your skype like google i got meet they will tell you what are the courses available in europe continent you have to tell them this is my uh, undergraduate uh, subject in line with my under what are the courses available they will be able to counsel you now i've informed you what are the job option available core engineering segment and in emerging technology how to meet the corporate expectation academic stream wise in terms of a technical skills and value added courses for you view in emerging technology the following certificate courses to be done by you other day when uh, i think about uh, six months ago we invited mr pondusamy general manager renault tissan factory i asked a very interesting query at the end of his lecture what are the emerging technology area our core engineer student have got to be updated themselves he said uh, ai machine learning deep learning python iot virtual reality augmented reality yesterday when i was uh, interacting with bond figlioli suresh babu he also said the same thing iot virtual reality augmented reality artificial intelligence software machine learning deep learning and uh, robotic process automation rpa i think you need to automate lot of areas everywhere every industry is going to get automated tomorrow so you need to understand what is rpa is all about i think we have uh, signed a mou with uh, ui park they are training all the students that are one of the most uh, reputed uh, uh, online learning academy ui path they are doing very well and uh, they are conducting a training program for all of us in the final year so you need what is ip rp is all about python you can also learn uh, python by visiting a website called www.codecombat.com i think these are the, i think you are all mechanical engineering i'll talk about uh, what is the probable areas uh, they will be asking you queries because if you want you can also learn about uh, data visualization tool under this there are two categories of certificate courses microsoft power bi assure and click view because one civil engineering boy who came to me who got married to my college girl at krishna uh, god he is a civil engineer now he is called uh, fast track ninja developer at infosys imagine a civil engineering student transforming himself to be a emerging technologies he is so passionate he has got a title now he is very good in front end software development he is very good in back end software development now he is called fast stack ninja developer he is now getting a salary of 7 to 8 lakhs per month why not you so i think uh, you will also know about sentiment analysis mood analysis when you study analytics 
and uh, when you do a certification in data visualization tool everywhere the field of analytics will come you need to store structured data most of the data we have unstructured data you got to go through it you have to structure the data see that the data are available to enable the management to take crucial business decision making tableau software mongo db cassandra r language or data science rpa robotic process automation we have signed a mou with a ua part they will be training you in the fourth year mechanical well, not for you the computer science i'm just giving you and then you can do a certification amazon web services people who are passionate about marketing they can do amazon web services and digital marketing and iot you got to do mechanical engineering must do a certification iot what is iot is all about iot so far i have uh, understood three segments of iot energy consumption and uh, uh, home in home decoration home interior home, uh, smart home solution energy consumption smart home uh, iot and uh, finally you have uh, another thing uh, thing how to uh, conceive insight by uh, learning iot you need to offer lot of insight to the customer how to separate some of the gray areas in a particular that is called i saw a, a mobile phone like instrument in exhibition conducted at chennai trade center one year ago this my sort of company it is just like a mobile phone it will be kept on the steering wheel of the car once the ignition gets started the green light will be on the moment the green light is on it gives you a actionable insight to the car owner when is the car due for servicing which are the spare parts of the car have become very defective these are the iot application smart home solution all of you will be some of your bachelors uh, five boys or five girls staying in a uh, uh, house in chennai or bombay or bangalore i think once you install iot technology you will be able to get up automatically by 6 o'clock the it will switch off the fan it will switch off the ac the venetian blind curtain will go up then your coffee maker in the kitchen will start making noise so you will be able to get up early morning to be ready to go to office that is smart home uh, iot technology and the, the sorry energy consumption with the help of iot you can go to a manufacturing company where the energy consumption is very erratic with your information technology background with your iot technology background you should know where the gray area lies how to bring down the uh, erratic uh, consumption to a optimal consumption so these are the three areas i learned about iot you can be a good iot consultant tomorrow after having worked in the company iot company for about 5 years you can be a startup company based on iot technology you can be an entrepreneur employ a lot of people so as a mechanical engineer you got to do a certification in iot you got to do a certification in digital marketing you got to do a certification in software called dashboard what is dashboard i think operation management once once you finish your be you can also do mba in operation management like in our college of kot one of the specialized subject is operation management in order to do well in operation management in r and d setup you got to learn dashboard software what is it all about with the help of dashboard you are collecting a lot of data in the shop floor production how much product what is the, how much quantum of product produced in a shop floor in a particular area at what cost then you go to the marketing segment how much product was sold to the market then you go to the quality department how many rejection were there have you have you conceived ncr non confirmed report to solve the issue immediately these are the report will be coming on uh, uh, dashboard mis you need to give a presentation to every day to the top management and these are the gray area we found we need to focus on this uh, getting over all these gray areas this is how you bring down lot of you, you bring up lot of efficiency you need to enhance lot of efficiency of production operation so the r and d department they focused on enhancing lot of efficiency in operation so, so they had to leverage technology like dashboard to see that all the negative areas are completely eliminated and you are able to get quality product so you need to understand what is a dashboard software so iot dashboard and digital marketing uh, sometime your uh, 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 what what about uh, some software also uh, uh, analytics some of you might be interested in data analytics Yeah, some of the manufacturing company they are going to have technical analytics you need to store data you need to collect data you need to arrive at lot of decision making in setting right the operational flaws 
And doing a certificate in UI UX design and Angular JavaScript, you are well versed in both front software development and backend. You'll be given a title called Fast Track Ninja Developer. I think most of the mechanical engineers today in Chennai, they are all moving over to emerging technology after finishing their B mechanical engineering. I think you'll be called as a uh, Fast Track Ninja Developer. The following we are a website you will be visited in doing the certificate courses: www.coursera.com. All the certificates are available. You can also do, some of you might be, be uh, um, marketing. Some of you might be passionate about taking up marketing area. Some of, you have to do MBA in business analytics. If you do MBA in business analytics, you can take up a uh, lot of good companies like Charge B and uh, Latin View Analytics. You can be uh, marketing in charge. You are called as customer success executive. You need to talk to customer. You need to improve their business operation. So great learning, online academy, Khan Academy, www.interviewbit.com. Here, they will not ask you to pay money. But once you complete the course, once you get a job, you'll have to start paying by EMI to the company. Interviewbit.com. I think as a student, you need to have some sort of a plan. What should be your first area of interest? What should be your second area of interest? What should be your third area of interest? Well, in life, your passion and interest. You need to have, from now on, what should be your first area of interest, second area of interest, Third area of interest in my mechanical engineering academic stream. You need to know whether I should study IoT. You need to know whether I should uh, go beyond uh, my mechanical engineering and start doing MBA in business analytics, MBA specializing in operation management, how to learn dashboard. You'll be able to get more salary. Or you can do, fulfill your uh, obligation of achieving your uh, overseas education goal. Go and do MS in engineering abroad. MS in industrial engineering. When you do MS in industrial engineering, straight away, there are plenty of jobs in USA in supply chain management. But my, my daughter studied abroad. She did uh, MS in computer science, MS in advanced analytics. She did one more certification in Coursera.com, statistical techniques in business modeling. So uh, when I went there for uh, gradu uh, graduation um, day, graduation day, I was uh, completely bowled over by the campus infrastructure. 14 tennis court, three football court, and rest are all uh, indoor. Volleyball, table tennis, tennis cards, tennis, L everything, uh, tennis outside. Everything is uh, indoor. The moment I step in, uh, it gets switched on. The moment I step out, it gets switched off. All IoT technology. Then separated by a glass partition, you have a gym, and you have a beautiful air-conditioned joggers track. Then I went to the library. Uh, amazing infrastructure. A student can go to library during night time. You'll be locked inside. You'll be given a uh, complete uh, Razai kind of a bedroll with a pillow. You'll be given a reclining chair. Once you finish your reading in the library during the night time, you can relax on the reclining chair. They'll be given a complete shawl or pillow uh, to, uh, to make you comfortable, to uh, not to be uncomfortable with the AC inside. I think by the time the clock strikes 6.30, the librarian will come, open the gate, We'll ask you to go back to your room and wash up and come back to class. And they have everything available inside the library. You have to put some stuff, five cents, six cents. You can have a hamburger. You can have a cutlet. You can have a tomato juice, traffic and a juice. Everything is available. Coffee is available. Coffee, uh, beautiful decoction coffee available. Everything is a throwaway rate. For students, they give a lot of concession. You can also get part-time job. My, my daughter did a lot of part-time job. She was earning about $500. That is how he was able to pay the rent of the room. In a particular bungalow, the she was staying in a Chinese bungalow. There were three rooms, uh, four rooms, and they are all paying $200, $250 per hour. And uh, she was able to manage with uh, $150 for her livelihood. This is the kind of uh, uh, arrangement I saw. But when I saw the graduation day ceremony, here in India, we used to have minimum five hours. There, it is over by 25 minutes. They will be conferring on you. Uh, so and so, they call the name. You are being conferred MS degree in computer science, industrial engineering. Then they invite a, a VP HR to give a talk on campus to corporate. They have a beautiful amphitheater kind of a arrangement for graduation day. Very cool and comfortable inside. I was asked to wear a suit. And they all asked me, at the time I was the director of KSR group. They are very happy that uh, one of the students' uh, father is the director of educational institution in India. They were very happy. They all interacted with me. And uh, when I went for the visa for going abroad to be with the midst of my daughter, the entire American consulate in Chennai 
they were very happy we are very happy that your daughter is studying abroad we are very happy we are inviting you to go and spend some time with your graduation day your visa is approved he didn't ask me any question the moment i showed the college letter um, all the americans they clap for me very happy proud to know that uh, your daughter has graduated as well as usa that is the kind of uh, americans i could see at usa stunning and then when i went to that college also they all received me very well fantastic i think when i went to usa i you had the opportunity of visiting one of the most famous engineering college at boston mit massachusetts institute of technology then i went to another famous institute called harvard business school the moment i went to harvard business school i told my daughter i refuse to come out of the campus so beautiful harvard business school i used to have even today i had that longing why i did not uh, undertake my overseas study at the harvard business school i i I'm a, i was telling my daughter also i don't know i should have planned my mba at harvard business school that is the kind of uh, goal you should have you must study in mit you must get the ms in industrial engineering from mit if you finish your mit with ms across the globe you will get minimum 6000 dollars per month salary my daughter joined uh, she was selected on campus drive at north carolina state university she joined july and she was getting a salary of 5000 dollars after having been in usa for 3 years she came back to chennai she got married she said i don't want to stay in uh, usa on a permanent basis i just went there only to finish my overseas goal i completed i achieved my goal she wanted to come because she's a, she has got a lot of hobbies she's a, got a lot of hobbies in dancing and music we are trained her in classical singing she is learning a lot of music i think during her uh, part time uh, and weekend time she focus on her music lessons so she is having a lot of uh, hobby on singing in a different kind of manner i think she said uh, uh, i am not very happy to continuing staying in uh, usa i went there for only for achieving my overseas education goal so you must also plan later like but now i am going to talk about uh, what is the probable interview question in mechanical engineering i think most of you are third year now i was told most third year student you must do internship i think by the time may comes we will be would have moved towards normal phase explore perindurai there are a lot of companies you have uh, Britannia Industries, you have Marico Limited, Parachute Coconut Oil Manufacturing Company, you have Vardhaman Yon, and uh, you have uh, India Cements, uh, Sangagiri, you have uh, Ramco Cement, uh, Omalur. Try to do internship there, you'll get. I think you need to understand, go to the placement cell, talk to Suresh Balaji, Vinod, get, to, get the, all the website ID of the company. Try to understand who is the CEO of the company, how many employees are working there, and what is the kind of product they manufacture, domestic market, a overseas market, what is the turnover like, and what is the kind of uh, disruption happening in, in all the core engineering industries. You need to go on updating yourself. You need to go on having a strategy of upskilling yourself, reskilling yourself, go on consistently reinventing yourself to get to know how all of you should stay relevant today how all of you should stay relevant today in the job market okay, i think one one girl uh, uh, there are two girls in our college muthum and uh, maithili of uh, tribli mechanical uh, priyadashini this year our uh, sister ashwadini amazing in the quality whenever they interact with him spoken english was fantastic both the dot both the sisters got the job priyadashini working in quest, uh, quest global and uh, uh, i think ashwadini got a job in accenture she is a mechanical engineering student she got selected in accenture why not you because i have seen lot of uh, students both the boys for example navin uh, who is in your uh, uh, orchestra team he is also a, a, a outstanding boy he got selected in one of the good it company and he has got a hobby of uh, playing keyboard and everything amazing you should have a hobby you must also be outstanding you must play a sports also you must be an all rounder during a college time you must be an all rounder not only studies you must play try to play a keyboard and uh, be a vocalist like uh, sweda i heard the last time uh, computer science sweda she sang very well uh, that uh, jean song amazing she has got a very good voice i think all of you should have a good hobby why i am saying is 
when you move out to the corporate world, you get notice. Definitely, they'll recognize you and pay you more money. You should have some extracurricular activities and uh, co-curricular activities. See that uh, when you move out to the corporate world, try to uh, demonstrate your further hobbies and abilities so that the employee will be impressed. And uh, I think now I'm going to talk about. Uh, you will. You should also visit the uh, Wasur area. You must also visit Coimbatore area and find out uh, what are the companies available in Wasur area. What are the companies available in Coimbatore area? What are the companies available in Sankagiri and uh, Perindurai and uh, Salem? I think you need. You have to do internship in those areas only. You need not come all the way to Chennai. Breaks India. They give you internship and they have been supporting all of us. One Mr. Bharati Shankar. You did very good internship at Breaks India. You got a very good testimony. And I think a lot of people are doing internship from our college. Thanks to Suresh Balaji and Satyan Adan. They are very passionate about even uh, Mishagavel. The Mishagavel very keen our students to do a lot of internship. Vishakavel keeps whipping up the passions of me, myself, Rajendran, Satinaran, Vinod, and uh, Suresh Balaji, other department. He wants to make sure every student at KOT should execute internship for at least two months, either in the third year or in the fourth year. There are a lot of uh, online uh, uh, web portals available 2019.com, internshala.com, let's, uh, let's intern.com. Let's Intern.com, internshala.com, 20 in word, 19 in figure, 2019.com. Just go and explore. 2019.com, one of the fantastic websites where you'll have to interact with them online. You'll be able to get internship to execute the internship at home at Salem. Because of COVID-19, a lot of companies are giving some uh, project work to be executed at home. So third year students, some of us, basically B computer science, I, I told Rajendran to talk to one company. They have selected three students with B computer science third year in the Java area. They are doing extremely very well. I got the feedback report. They are above average. They are doing very well. I think you need to keep your eyes wide open. You need to visit the website of the core engineering company. Try to understand companies. What are the companies all about? What are the products made by them? Who is the CEO of the company? And what is the kind of employee engagement strategy? What is the kind of culture strategy they practice? Do they give us? Freedom of operation, freedom of ideas. I think you need to find out on your own. Now I'm going to talk about what is the probable question they may ask you in uh, mechanical engineering. Sir? Yes, sir. This is Satin Aran, sir. Huh? Sir, this is Satin Aran. Sir, actually, uh, a student have to go for another uh, program. Sir, what is call, five, call, five, sir. five minutes, sir. Five minutes. Okay, sir. No problem, sir. Uh, shall we have one or two interactions, sir? Pardon me? Students, if they have any questions. Uh... Okay, well, 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 probable question finally round time. Okay. Please, sir. I, I think you need to be uh, well versed with uh, fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics, and uh, the, the other one is uh, industrial engineering, industrial mechanics, and uh, strength of material, thermal engineering, and uh, uh, hydraulic engineering, hydraulic engineering, then finite, finite element analysis. What is all about penetrative fin analysis? You need to understand what is Pro E and uh, what is Unigraphic, what is CATIA B5, what is SolidWorks. I think once again I'll repeat fluid mechanics, strength of material, engineering mechanics, industrial engineering, and uh, thermal engineering, and hydraulic engineering. And you have to do a finite element analysis to understand what is all about Unigraphic, CATIA V5, uh, SolidWorks, and uh, Pro E. I think with this, I'd like to finish. I think well, next time when they come to me uh, personally online, I'll conduct a market review for you. If you have any question, ask me. You have any question? Thank you, Mr. Rajendran. Thank you, Mr. Vizagwell, for having given an opportunity to interact with the students today. Thank you. Sir, actually, uh, you have, sir, uh, Vizagwell, sir, is telling that you have got another commitment with your family.
yeah yeah one o'clock <laughs> so okay sir uh, right uh, yeah, I, i was about to tell i only left out one thing the personal branding what should be the strategy and personal branding i next time i'll talk to them sure sir we'll have a separate lecture for that sir any student would like to have question sir good morning sir hmm sir myself p anbarson i have one question yeah uh, uh which which industry mostly used in catia v5 software sir <laughs> this is what we have been discussing most quickly sir thank you very much for the question uh sir uh, mr vishakavel uh, mr rajendran we have been discussing about this for the last uh, one month you need to find out uh, there are a lot of aerospace companies available in bangalore uh, that in continental data graphics in chennai dl continental data graphics and uh, you have a uh, quest global and you have a uh, good rich good rich uh, company at bangalore all this company they offer uh, jobs in design engineering there are plenty of jobs available in solid works solid works there are plenty of job available in uni graphic i think you need to explore the possibility of finding out which are the best aerospace company you can kick start your career you need to find out you need to study the website of the each company i think maybe i've got shakti aerospace there are one company called shakti aerospace i have placed uh, two or three students from ksr there shakti aerospace in bangalore good rich but some of the companies they are uh, telling me uh, quest global has quest global have come to our college with that uh, we can always tell the other companies quest global a western company so our company our college is very good college and uh, you can invite them at the moment uh, because of covid 19 the design area is not doing very well autocad 3d modeling i think the civil engineering also autocad is there electrical also autocad is there i don't know about the mechanical autocad is there because that area the drafting skill you got to be stronger in drafting skill you got to be stronger in all the design uh, domain like uni graphic is very sought after by everybody solid box is sought after by everybody and your uh, pro e catia b5 i think vishakavel is telling me uh, most of the students are getting trained in all these areas so let us try to explore lot of good companies in aerospace company continental data graphic when i telephone yesterday they are all working from home when myself rajendra went to all the company in most of the places employees are working from home even the hr is working from home we went to a place called uh, uh, digital uh, company i think uh, at, uh, at uh, rms millennia omr we met uh, pravin uh, fortunately he was the only guy available in the office about 1500 employees are working from home this is i think even tata communication i tried to contact uh, they are telling me sir nobody is available in the office they are working from home so that's that the problem we are unable to meet all the hr people in person they are not able to be reached we are not able to reach them on phone and by, by most of the companies in bangalore also they are keeping a low profile because of covid 19 the, i think the the muted covid 19 spread is uh, becoming more and more happening at karnataka and karnataka most of the core engineering company still not doing very well this is what i got the report but hopefully by may once the election get over india is going to be on the uh, on the road path of uh, bouncing economy i am very confident in the month of may india will improve thank you thank you very much sir and uh, at this juncture i am very happy to uh, thank you once again and uh, wish you a very happy birthday sir mm. and, thank you uh, thank you for uh, being with our students on this occasion and uh, you have uh, uh, spared your two hours time uh, with our students and uh, we'll have uh, uh, separate interactive sessions in coming days with you sir exclusively okay. for uh, second year third year separately we'll have it sir okay okay thank you sir I thank you these are all third year students sir here third year uh, and uh, final year also is there sir okay hey, hey, final year students they can always interact with me on skype or uh, google any time they can uh, badge of 10 people i don't mind interacting with they can clarify all the doubts any other sir, queries sir. to be hey, any other queries to be clarified by them i want students to ask more question okay sir and actually yeah hmm under the five minutes <laughs> still 5 minutes anybody want to ask question about going abroad for education okay sir uh, we love it separately sir then okay, okay sir. thank you I thank you sir thank you very much sir i think students thank are very you. happy about my presentation i think yes sir yes sir
they are very happy sir they were very informative sir okay sir thank you very much sir thank you very much sir thank you thank you fine sir thank you very much sir okay and i uh, will uh, end the session now sir thank you okay sir thank you bye bye sir